When two reflections combine into a rotation, only the intersection point and the relative angle matter. When you rotate both reflections around that intersection point, you keep the same transformation. We call this a gauge degree of freedom. When two reflections combine into a translation, the same thing happens. Only the relative distance and orientation of the lines matters. When both lines are rotated around their intersection point at infinity, you keep the same transformation. When we combine k reflections into a k reflection, we get k minus one of these gauges. During composition, some of these gauges will vanish. This happens whenever identical reflections cancel. This is the famous cartan dieudonné theorem. The remaining gauges, the non-vanishing gauges, are the subject of our own first theorem. It states that any k reflection can be decomposed into exactly seal k over 2 commuting factors. In the example here, we show how three reflections in the plane can always be written as a translation along a line and a reflection in the same line. Because these parts commute, it makes the calculation of logarithmic and exponential functions trivial. This generalizes to an arbitrary number of dimensions and for a wide range of groups. You can find all of the details in the paper. Thank you.